Hi everyone, this is Chris at Chris Marino Design, and I wanted to add another video to the interactive PDF playlist. In this video, we will be discussing table of contents navigation. Now, in this example, I have a 298 page document that I created for a client, and I have the main sections as navigation tabs. If I go back to the table of contents, this section runs from page 27 all the way to page 104. And the nice thing about having navigation in the table of contents is if a user needs to go to say page 47, they can click right on that link in the table of contents and go right to that page. If the user needs to go to page 94, click on that link, goes right to page 94. Now let's open up my project file. This is the same project file that I used in the previous video. And this project file is 10 pages. So section three starts on page six and goes to page 10 in this example. But I want to focus on page nine, which that's a specific topic. So if I go back to page one in my table of contents, We'll take the rectangle frame tool, cover this area I want to use as a navigation link, go to buttons and forms, drop down, I'm going to select button, and I'm going to name this table of contents page nine. And on actions, I want to select go to page and then select page nine, hit return. And at this point I can even keep adding buttons. Let's add a rectangle frame for section two. And let's see where section two starts. Okay, so section two starts on page four. Go back to that rectangle. Go back to buttons and forms, drop down button. I'll rename this table of contents section two. Let's select an action. Go to page, page four. Hit return. Now let's preview this. I'm gonna go up to the share icon publish online. Click publish. And I'm going to click view document. And now my interactive PDF not only has the main sections as interactive tabs on the side, navigation tabs on the side, I now have navigation in my table of contents. So if I want to go to page nine, this will take me right to page nine. If I go back to my original PDF, this is a very handy technique when you're dealing with large PDFs. So I can go back to the table of contents tab at any time and click on any page I need to go to. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.